I think six is the max. Yep. I won't spend more than that. Yep. Would you agree? Yep. Absolutely. But we would like five. Right. But we don't know what number they're coming at. Right. All right. Let's go get this done. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the elevator. Yeah. Morning, yeah. Candace. <laughs> Doing something a little different today. This Today is going to be one of the more hectic Sundays we've ever had. So we are at storage. Uh, we went to some estate sales this morning. What, four? Yeah, we went to four estate sales. Um, two were pretty good and two were not good. We picked up some things. I'm, um, we're, we're in the storage unit. And yeah, I know. I know. Our storage unit is very uh, organized and looks really good in here. Don't be too jealous, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but no we went to some estate sales and we decided to drop by here because we got some bulky things that i really tried not to buy but you can't pass up sometimes. you can't yeah you can't. so this is what's going on we went to four estate sales this morning and then we are meeting kevin and danielle um just a little bit so we wanted to try to get the truck kind of empty in case we end up buying stuff right. from them. so we're dropping off the big bulky stuff here um, this is an action pack video too because we also have a bunch of uh well we have uh garage sale stuff from yesterday yeah. we have estate stuff estate sale stuff from today then we're gonna have kevin and danielle stuff today and then we're gonna even pull some orders later in yeah, the video we, it's sunday and we're busy but we really have no choice because we had the most amazing sales weekend and we sold a lot of good items that are going to take a little extra time to pack. Right. So we're going to start packing them this afternoon. Um, but yeah, we have a lot in store for y'all. We're going to show you what we picked <laughs> up yesterday at garage sales. What we got today at estate sales. We're going to show you hopefully a Kevin and Danielle buy. Yep. And then when we get back to the shed, we're going to pull some orders. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. And it's a, it's a Sunday, y'all. I told Candace yesterday, I was like, Look, we're going to have to pick a day or two, maybe two this week. Yeah, pull orders and, and then take the rest of the day. Pull and pack and then take off the yeah. rest of the day, at least once or twice this week. It's actually a good timing because um, I've been wanting to do something with Molly and get her out the house. So yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so first first of all, we have um, these, well, we have this vacuum here. Yes. It's a canister. It's a Lux Legacy. And it's got attachments and whatnot. And then also we have this Lux light, light uh, vertical or stand-up clean vacuum cleaner. Is. I know. Um, we paid half price, so yeah. we paid two dollars and fifty cents for each one. Yep. And then we also have this box of okay. attachments yep. that came. It was part of the deal too. So we paid a total of five dollars for both vacuums. I looked that one up, and I'm like, I can't, I can't not get it for two dollars and fifty cents. And the thing is, they both work. I tested them out. And once I did that, I was like, well, I can't. You have to. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't, like, in, I couldn't in good conscience just leave them there because I was like, okay, what am I going to, how am I going to feel about leaving those there in middle of January? And we're having trouble sourcing. We don't have a, a bunch of great stuff at that point. Um, and then I think back to when I could have bought these vacuums itself are over a hundred dollars for two dollars and fifty cents i cannot st i cannot leave those behind so yeah, right. we got them um and then the other thing that we're showing you right now not my cool lsu I'm this bringing. is a bin full of western books there's just a couple of authors uh johnstone and then there's a couple of others in here i don't know because i haven't looked through it but um made a deal with the estate sale lady bought the whole bin for ten dollars for all yeah. the books so definitely going to be making lots out of those but for today uh or for right now all that stuff needs to go into storage here because we just simply don't have room to put it in the shed because we already have stuff in the shed so we're going to store this stuff away and then it's time to go meet kevin and danielle okay now we have well we had lunch we actually went to uh, churches, and I don't like their chicken, their fried chicken at all. But we, I had their, I tried their sandwich last week, and it's almost like Popeye sandwich. It's almost. It actually is pretty as close. Good. Yeah. So. Yeah, we don't have a Popeyes in our town, so. No. You have to settle for churches. Yeah, it was good though. Yeah. Um, we are back with Kevin and Danielle. They're right around the corner. Here, hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and um. They called us up, our message just, what, yesterday? 
Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. Um, they had some more, more stuff. There's always more stuff with them. All right, we'll go look at this stuff real quick. Just miscellaneous clues. Yeah, that's a cool. That's a cool Levi's vest. Look. Yeah. I never seen something quite like that. <laughs> well, maybe I'm using the word cool kind of loosely. <laughs> look at the. Uh, that's weird the way the, the collar is, huh? There is none. I know exactly. <laughs> That's meant to be wear, worn under if it didn't have a collar Man, right, like thing. under a coat. You ever seen something like that? I haven't. <laughs> I think they have since they own it. Well, I mean, <laughs> besides that one. All right, some t-shirts, some Chicago knockoff looking stuff, stuff yeah. some Georgia stuff, some Bell South stuff. I have one of these <laughs> back in the day. I have one just like that. Did you work for them? Yeah, I worked for them for a while. Well, you can actually sell that because they're no longer in business. Huh? You can sell that. Oh, because it's AT&T now. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's correct. True. And hell, before that, when I got there, they had just changed from South Central, from South Central Bell yeah. to Bell South, and then now they're AT&T. Yeah. Right. Yep. Which AT&T was the, back then, was the mobile arm. Oh, or yeah. well, it was Bell South Mobility for a while, and then it went to AT&T. And it, it was singular too. too. What? Uh, are they? Are AT and T? Are they might have bought them up yeah, or something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. More clothes. Military. military. Yep. What do we have? Some shirts. Blouses. Okay. Air Force. Yeah. This Some is OD cool. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything in the case? Uh, no, there's not. <laughs> uh, but the case is kind of valuable, and it's in and of itself it has, it doesn't look. Is it for a guitar or something? It's for, uh, uh, it's for an electric guitar. Okay. I'm not, I can't tell you the model number of the guitar, but I think it's a Stratocaster or. Okay. One of right. the smaller ones. Case of MREs. And then got some helmets. I think this is like a gas mask. Contraption. Some boonie hats. Yeah. Those are, well, this one, I think they're both issue. A lieutenant hat there. Old. Yeah. Old school lieutenant hat. Hmm. hmm. These are the kind we had when I was in. There's some uh, Kevlar. Well, this is Kevlar here. That's a steel pot there. It's like some kind of German looking thing or something, huh? Yeah. That's my prize position. <laughs> is it? It <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we've sold some. Uh, Maybe right across the German helmets. I never sold one like that. That is that probably is German, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And these. This is what we had when I was in mm -hmm. Kevlar, and then this. Hell, them. You know what? I think this might have been what we had when I first got in. <laughs> That's what I had when we first in basic. With this liner thing. Right. Right. And you um, you can actually shave it. Take the liner out and shave it out. Use, use yeah. soap water and then shave it out of your pocket. All right, there's a camelback. What are those cases? Cases of records, maybe? Yeah, 45. Yep. Okay. All right. Good old 45s. More 45s and 8 tracks. 45s and 8 tracks. CDs. Hmm. And some cassettes. Hmm. Okay. Well, they're new at least, I guess, some of them. Looks like somebody ordered uh, from a music club. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the, though, these are not music club. Some of them are. Yeah. Is this clockwork? That's a really yeah, nice one. Yeah, it's big. Oh, yeah, that's very. That's a really nice Yeah, it is. Yeah, I see that down here. Actually, there's extra weights down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't work, you can sell it like it sits. Yeah. All right. Um, what is this? This looks familiar. Speaker? No, it's a modem of some sort. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I know. I'm probably just going to have to chunk that. Like, 
I don't know if that has any. I've never tried to sell anything like that. I think there's like three That's different ones cool. in there. All right. Some glasses. Those are, those all prescription. Very valuable. They're all vintage. They oh, are they? Some, these are amazing. Um, these right here, they're Johnny Depp. I saw a pair. Let me see. Um, Is Johnny Depp brand? No, it's Johnny Depp style, I guess. I saw a pair that had sold, um, he sold some of those years and years ago. That was his leftover that he didn't ever get. Who hosted. did? Kevin. Oh, yeah. I thought you said, I thought you meant Johnny Depp. Those, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. You did? Okay. See, like right here, Vintage Black Men's yeah, Spear Code, them. What, uh, 179. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then those, um, the silver ones, they sold for like 110, and these are sold. Oh, it goes to electric football. Okay. Cool, huh? Got some lighters. Some advertising lighters in there. Boy Scout stuff. These are new. Mm hmm. What are those? What brand? Uh, Ralph Lauren. Okay. Mm, a bunch are, of decals. Yes, they have some. So those are all vintage. There's some Grateful Dead in there. There's some tattoo brand. There's some, okay. There's all different kinds in there. And then some, just some incense stickers. But he sold a bunch of those, too. Yeah. I mean, some of them would go for like $19. 20 dollars. Yeah, $30 a piece. Okay, yeah. They're, um, those uh, are neat. The more, mm -hmm. uh, the Grateful Dead ones are the more rare ones. Okay, and I remember this brand, Candace, because I had, like, the first time I ever bought from Guy, mm -hmm. uh, he had Ral Partha, because they also make, um, back in the early 80s, they make D&D &D figs, too. Okay. But these are Indian Artillery Crew. Well, they've got a few different things. Mm-hmm. Few different little arm these are army men here but they also do make um dungeons and dragons what is this oh these are helicopter propellers i was telling about those yeah. they'll probably bring across that before too mm -hmm. these these are uh little rc helicopter propellers. Blades. Yeah. yeah yeah blades yeah that's interesting Piper engine protector. What? You can check that out. It works. It's this factory. Yeah, yeah, that was actually my personal one. Okay. I'll read the factory and set it. Okay. Cool. So, so I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. Got it. Huh? There's a Durant rookie. I forgot he, uh, I forgot he got drafted by Seattle. I didn't realize it. Did you test these speakers? Do y'all did? Okay. So y'all remember I got those speakers from y'all last time. Yeah. And uh, they, I tested them. They were good. <laughs> they actually sold. Really? That's yeah. Good. I, I'm shipping them. Uh, well, it's kind of good. I gotta pack them. <laughs> what about this? Have you tested this? You can turn it on. This works. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that's interesting. I thought they left the tag on it. All right, some surround speakers, techniques, and... I think you got one of the small speakers, a single speaker. I think it went with the techniques. Last one? One of the buys, yeah. Okay. All right, what do we have down here? Look at this. That's interesting. FM, FM1 war fighting on audio tape. U.S. Marine Corps. What the heck? Some tr training stuff? National Cassette Service. It has like the fighting songs and the marching band, mm. things like that. Uh, okay. All right. Uh oh, you got faces of death in here. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> faces of death five. Is that something bad? Huh? Is that bad? Yeah. 
Well, no, I mean, it, it, you, you don't remember that? Kevin's heard of it, I'm sure. I wouldn't yeah, watch that. Watch yeah. That. I mean, I didn't know if there was some I watched, kind of law you can't sell it or something. Uh, I don't think you can sell it on eBay. Really? No. But, I mean, might be a case for re. Also, I don't know if that stuff is real or not. Do you? Y'all do remember it from like I the remember, 80s. I remember, but I yeah. never watched it. My brother, my brother had one. Uh, I didn't have one. Like, I remember we rented, me and my buddy would rent them. They had a bunch. Like, that's number five. Yeah. And yeah, it was pretty grisly. It really was. Yeah. Like, it was supposed one? to be authentic. Ooh, Duck Dynasty. Sorry. Yeah, they might not like us too much after we sold all them stickers. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's a pretty nice glove. Yeah. That thing is huge. That's a 13-inch glove. Big old outfield glove, huh? I guess. Look at the size of that thing. Yep, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's a... Where did you buy that good at? Good condition. Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. You someplace like that. Man, I, I never see... You, you, you went shopping. Like, how often you see 13-inch gloves? Never, right? Not, not often. Not They're often. always like 11 and a half, 12 inches. I don't remember if that's softball or baseball. That's what I was wondering. Is it softball? Yeah, softball I said softball little, whenever little he was going to play men's slow kick softball or something. Oh, okay. Like gotcha. It doesn't say. I don't. Yeah, it might be. Or I guess it could be outfield. I don't know. All right. We've got a Mad Cats. Okay. All righty. And then that there. Oh, this too? Yeah. Okay. You got a. The frame. Some more, some more food. This is a, this is actually a meal tray from oh, the, that was the, cool. the Navy Exchange. I used to I had it as my decoration. Okay. My, uh, All right, old rusty jerry can. This one. Huh? This one, the spout. You know, remember what they used to call the spout of those? Uh, a donkey something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I couldn't. Rem I didn't remember, but yeah, I guess it didn't take me long to think about it, figure it out. <laughs> All right, we got some kind of, was that Alice Pack or something? What is it? Field Pack LC1 Nylon. That's kind of cool. Does it have... Where's the straps? Um, the straps are... Or does it just fit onto the frame? Yeah, it fits onto the frame and the... And the gotcha. And I do have some extra straps. Uh-oh. Bulletproof? Or plate carrier or something? What is that? Safari Land. I don't know if I could sell that or not. Yeah, it, it does are kind of, that'd be something you might want to, if, if you're into that kind of stuff. Kind of <laughs> All right, let me, uh, but do y'all have a number already? Um, this, we might need a couple minutes to go, okay. go over it again. I, we, we were thinking about it, but we, we never really, we kind of, we were running late, so we really never came to an exact. Okay. Well, we're going to think of a number and let y'all think of a number and then it's um i know it doesn't look like a lot but we have there is some like high-end dollar things like yeah like the bows that they're suddenly area. sold yeah like the bows are nice. 79 yeah. on mm -hmm. ebay yeah they look pretty clean too uh, yeah okay all right we'll we'll compare we'll get numbers and then compare them all right they're still working on price we're trying to kind of think a ballpark where we want to be there are some really nice pieces there um the cuckoo clock is really nice. Mm -hmm. The bow speakers. speakers are really good. Some of those glasses are really good. There's a uh, one, the Kevlar helmet in there mm -hmm. is really good. I'm just not 100% I could sell that. And then the Fender case. The Fender case is over $100. It's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, the clothing is whatever. So kind of the pricing I've looked at so far where the clothes are. I'm thinking the clothes box, maybe 100 bucks. Okay. The Fender case, maybe 50 mm -hmm. And then the... What was next? The, the helmets and stuff. The helmets, I was thinking about maybe 50. I think I might be low there, though. I think that's going to be an issue. Yeah. That's 200 all the way up to the helmets, right? Okay. And then we have the Camelback and the, the CDs, CDs, and, CDs stuff. and stuff. Okay, I'm in. I'm thinking like 20 for that stuff. Like, or, Okay, we'll call it 50 just to keep the numbers are easy. Okay. So we're at 250. Yeah. Right, let's go glance real quick. Okay, let's see. We have... All right, so... So we have that okay that stuff i don't value at all there's okay we have the clock mm -hmm. and then we have table speakers and that and then the stuff down here okay all right let's go back okay so now we have to figure out we're at 250 before we get to the clock in that table now the table whew, 
the table's probably another what 200 yeah just for the table yeah. so it's we're at like 450 yeah. i'm thinking i'm thinking right around five don't forget the stuff in the inside the unit with that military stuff oh yeah yeah that other box in there okay i'm really okay so look y'all i'm thinking we want we want to be what do you think we want to be around five five between five and I think six is the max. Yep. I won't spend more than that. Yep. Would you agree? Yep. Absolutely. But we would like five. Right. But we don't know what number they're coming at. Right. All right. Let's go get this done. Okay. We have a range of numbers. What do you, What are y'all thinking? We were talking. We we came up with maybe around twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hmm. All right, y'all. We killed. We killed the camera. Negotiations got pretty rough there. Not rough. Rough is not fair. But we yeah, we it was rough. It was we had good. a we had a custody battle over some helmets, <laughs> and uh, Kevin ended up taking the German helmet out, and we agreed on seven fifty. And I know what it, what usually ends up happening. We feel like we overpay a tad sometimes. And then we get home and we're like, oh, this is worth more than we thought. Yeah. And I know that's probably going to happen to some extent this time too. But, yeah. Oh, that's Hi. that stuff too, huh? Yes. You, Kev, are you, really, uh, are you really attached to your uh, jerry can over there? Because if you are, either? I got one for you. What's that? You have your Jerry, your Jerry no. helmet. You might want to keep your Jerry can too. I don't, didn't know. Jerry, which German. German. Yeah. German. Jerry's. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a lame joke. My bad. All right. We own this stuff, I guess. All right. Yes. Let me help y'all pack up. All right. All right, so I killed the camera once. I, I, I didn't think we were going to be that far apart. Yeah, our number was... Whew. We were way far apart, so I was like, all right, it's about to get serious. I got to kill the camera and yeah. got like, figure this out. It it wasn't like combative or anything. No, but, it wasn't, not, no one was mean, but it was a little tense, yeah. It got a little... They, they, they did not like it. I did not like it either. However, I wanted to buy stuff, but... Whenever, okay, so when we come up with a number and then we walk to them and we're like, okay, what are y'all thinking? And they tell us our number. When we're that far apart, you just you just know the buy is not going to happen. Right. You just know right away that you're going to end up walking out there. I, 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 well, I, I did consider that, but we do have history with them yeah. as far as buys go. I wanted it to happen. They wanted it to happen. They wanted to get the money. And honestly... Uh, well, I don't think it's I don't think it's so much for them about getting the money. It's they're they're needing to get rid of stuff. That too. That's a big motivation for but, them. But but you know one one thing that I've one thing that I found with the buys we've done for them so far is when we just walk in cold and we don't know what we're looking at. I think a lot of the stuff we buy from them, we don't know the value the value of until later on after we bought it and we're like, oh, this is worth more than I thought it was. Now I see what they were talking about. That's actually happened a bunch with the stuff we and bought. And even from the them. last buy, we tried to comp just about everything and we still had some surprises and then we had some Well, we, we knew we were gonna have some duds from that yeah. last buy. I but, don't I don't think we have very many from this one though. We ended up making a deal. Yeah. Yeah. So he took back the German helmet. He took back a German helmet. Yeah. And then we ended up paying 750. So we were saying we wanted to pay we wanted to pay 500 600 max. We ended up paying 750 and a piece got taken out. Yeah. So I'm actually though the more I looked at the stuff I think it is pretty good. Yeah. So we'll see. As a matter of fact, we can even, um, you know what we'll do? We'll track that buy. We'll track this particular buy separate. We'll give it its own spreadsheet and then we can, we can check in with it every now and then and uh, see how we did with it. Yeah. So, but uh, they said that was the last buy. And I don't know if that's. Thought, they told us that last time though. So. But I, 
But they might mean it this time because we lowballed them so hard. Yeah. They probably feel like we lowballed them real hard, I and I feel like they highballed us, and we got we got to a we got to a price. Though. Yeah. We, we got did. there. We did. But uh, yeah, man, this is a uh, marathon Sunday. So oh. I oh, know, y'all. It's like what two o'clock, and we're, yeah. our day is probably only halfway done. Yeah, we have. We, we're gonna film some more video. We're gonna pull some orders. Yeah. Uh, next, the next part of this epic video, which I don't know how long it's gonna be. I know. We're gonna show y'all the stuff we got at garage sales yesterday. Uh, it was an interesting day. We spent what? How much? We spent a hundred and nineteen dollars. You said something like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, well, no, I thought it was like ninety something. Oh, it was around right, 100 right bucks. Right around 100, yeah. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and show them this stuff, Candace. Okay. okay, let's go. All right, so we, we came across this sale, um, and we're going to show you a part of it in just a little bit. It's off to the side, but this guy's prices were amazing, and we got there kind of late in the morning, and he still had a bunch of cool stuff for cheap. And I'm like, what did we miss? You know, right. by not being able to get there early. Um, this is a sealed haunted mansion puzzle. Look how cool that is! I know, like if you if you see stuff with the uh, portrait images on it, it always does well. People just love that; it's so iconic. Did you look that up at all? I did. Oh, what did I did? I looked it up yesterday, and it was either twenty five or forty five. So it wasn't that much. No, but it was still it's still pretty good. Yeah, for you a puzzle. Pay, what'd you pay for it? A dollar. A dollar? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay, so uh, first thing I saw when I walked up was this. Um, and they're out of order, but it's like, there was two sets of this. And when I pulled up the first comp I sell, saw was somebody sold both sets for a hundred. So I knew I was gonna wanna buy it. And then it has all these little extras that are with it too, ancient discoveries. Um, what they are is DVDs and then- It's like history lessons. Yeah, and then okay. just, and then oh, also, cool. also this little book has okay. all kind of stuff in it. So, um, the dude was so motivated to move stuff. Um, Candace actually said, well, Candace, <laughs> Candace said, uh, what do you, th he, he said, well, what do you think? And Candace said $10, but somebody else was asking him a question somebody at the same time. Somebody came up and kind of interrupted us and started talking to him. So he didn't hear me say 10. And then he turned back to Candace and he said, he said, how about five? I'm like, okay. <laughs> he didn't even hear her say 10. I know. Well, that's fine. So I, I think he would have taken five, uh, five if i would i'm in ten if i'd offered it so and then we got this wicked bag it's a tote bag from the musical wicked um paid a dollar for that yep yeah um this was wasn't this a dollar yep that was a dollar for the football and the pump yeah and which is good because you know what i the reason i bought this I mean, yeah, we could sell the football or whatever. You bought it for this. I bought it for, I, we have a pump. We we didn't have a needle. So I was like, oh, well, I could just buy that. And then, because I have a, I actually have a football right here that needs air in it. Yeah. And it's, that's why I haven't listed it yet. So now I can list that football on the other one too. All right. They had a bunch of stuff that was marked free. This was in there. It was free. So I didn't even look for markings. And if it's not worth anything, I will just give it to Molly because she loves little horse stuff. It's not a briar, is it? I don't know. I didn't even look for markings. Even if it is a briar, they're not always worth they're, a time. Right. That one's cool, though. It's still got its chain um, and it looks older. So, yeah, I'll have to get my phone magnifier out and look around on it. Uh, this was also at a sale. I got that at this one. sale? Yeah. Okay. I got that for a dollar. It's like natural shell interesting yeah i have no idea if it's valuable or anything i just thought it was cool and new with tags so for a buck i picked it up it's just a little uh formal bag you know oh that's cool mother of pearl yeah remember that remember that uh tv commercial where they were they, they're trying to get to describe the color of their of teeth or something like that and the kid goes mother of pearl no i don't remember no? That. okay I'm sorry um, <laughs> maybe a viewer can back me up on that yeah, okay. or maybe i'm crazy well, we were driving down the road and people were just setting up a, um a sale like on their lawn so we hopped out and they had all this old brass stuff and we were like uh oh, do we want it do we not and lonnie saw this which is really cool um it's a fire hydrant it's heavy yeah it's it's like solid brass yeah. no no it's like yeah look y'all can see i mean i don't think it's super old or anything but look beaumont texas american darling valve it's almost like a salesman thing or something you know it's yeah, like or an award yeah for somebody retiring or something like that i don't know what the heck that so is. we knew we were gonna buy that he asked her how much she said three dollars so i was still kind of looking at this stuff i saw this little Lonnie calls it a shrimp boat, but it's, they got fish in their basket. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
there's something i thought that there. was a uh, a bubba gump boat yeah um and then so he's like let's just go ahead and see what they'll do for all the brass yeah because we didn't want to really pay three dollars for for each one of these things so we put it all brought it all over there put it on the table and said how much for all this she said 15 and we said sold yeah that was a good price yep because we have a duck a we mouse, have this mouse a, a weenie dog yep armadillo and check this out look at this old walmart sticker on here y'all made in taiwan it's got the old walmart it, font yeah it looks at, like that old western style walmart like, font yep uh, we have a swan a pheasant a crane and an owl yeah those are cool and lonnie told me i'm forbidden to polish them yeah don't polish them because i, don't, I just don't think it's worth the time we had we went to another sale too where the prices are good y'all see some more of that stuff in a little bit but I picked up this hat for a dollar fifty. Um, it's still got the tag on it. It's Vans Aircraft, and I googled it when we got back in the car. It's not the shoes, it, which is weird because we bought two pairs of Van shoes stuff, but, oh, at no. that sale. But uh, they make like high end RC airplanes, like the big ones. Okay. So that's what that company is. Which means there's going to be a market for that hat. Probably so, because people that are spending money on that are mm -hmm. probably like proud of it. You know. Right. Yep. Absolutely. So, Let's show them some more stuff. Okay. All right, this the sale where we bought that Vans hat. We also got this stuff right here. Um, this is a, a vintage Pan Am bag. And um, we paid 10 for it, and they're not that valuable. Maybe like 25 bucks. Yeah, I, I, um, I just offered 10 off the... Off the cuff. Off the cuff. Yeah. That's the exact words to use. Um, it's it, cool, though. We may or may not end up selling it. I'll see. Because um, on it... I think it's just because of the color. I think with Pan Am, people like that iconic blue. Yeah. And I, I mean, I have started a little Pan Am collection. I was hoping it'd be worth more than that, though. But we'll see. Um, they had look at these vans, y'all. They're called Twisted, cause okay. So I told the guy, I said, why is the thing on not in center? You know, look at that. He said they're called Twisted. He said, look at the laces too. Yeah, look. You see how this is like over? Yeah, they're like off centered. That would be so uncomfortable. He had a mark for seven fifty and I offered five and he took it. Then these vans were two or three, do you remember? Two bucks for two those. Bucks, yep. Just some little checkerboard uh, vans. They're pretty clean. Then she had um she had this doll and some bitty babies with some clothes. This is Kaylee. She was a girl of the year, um, retired. And she's got like all her little accessories and stuff in here. She was like a California girl, surfer girl. So I ended up paying twenty five for everything. Yeah, that's a good bet. It is. Um, she's probably worth if I can get her cleaned up, probably about fifty. I don't think she's that bad. That's like a scuff on her, mm -hmm. and her hair is not horrible. So I think I can get about fifty for her, and then all the little accessories too. Now, I have seen where people got a hundred with the doll with clothes, so I might be able to just lot all this up for a hundred. That you know? that'd be the way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, that sale where we bought the um, the travel stuff and the um, the Haunted Mansion poster, the yeah. one with the good prices, they had this stuff marked free also. This is free. These Both of these boxes are free. And Okay, go ahead. Let's show them. Okay. Because... We, we, we woke I, up and they were open like this and we're like, what the heck? I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Like, there's all these brand names. We got Prada and, and Versace. I was like, these look like sunglass boxes. I'm like, what is this? Are these real? Yeah. Is this like counterfeit yeah. stuff? Fendi, Versace, Prada. Um, just a bunch of different little boxes. And so, um, we're like, oh, do we want those? What are we going to do They with were them? free. We didn't have to pay for them. But, right. But we're like, what are we going to do with them? Is it something we can use for shipping? Right. So, I found the guy. And he's a real nice guy. He like he helped us every time like every time we asked anything he just like gave, gave us a stupid low price and this real friendly dude he's just trying to get rid of his stuff so i'm like can you tell me and i hate to ask him because this is free i'm like what's the story where'd you get these and he said oh well i'm an ophthalmologist and we get uh are he ophthalmologists or optometrists i can't ophthalmologist. he did say eye doctor okay yeah. so he said we yeah, get he owns his own place yeah the he said we get all these glasses in and we we give the customer like the the interior case right they don't give and them like the cleaning box. cloth and all that stuff and then they keep all these outer boxes 
and uh i'm like oh so these are definitely legit these are the boxes that actually came with all these pairs of glasses so i don't know how many we have here probably yeah. 40 to 50. don't know how we're going to sell them if it's going to be individual or lots or what we're going to do right i haven't figured that out i think yet. it's going to be good though yeah i mean I, I glanced real quick and the the little boxes i saw uh similar to this it looked like they were getting pretty decent money for like you know somewhere in the, 10 12 13 dollars a piece but then we can lock these suckers up right maybe move it all for i don't know maybe we get a couple hundred out of it Who whatever knows? it was free yeah you know <laughs> so all right we have one more buy from yesterday to show y'all so yeah it was a big buy on this one yeah all right look how huge this we well, forgot to show y'all this yeah we, but this is not the big buy but i did remember we forgot this i don't know how it's a um it's heather the dragonfly <laughs> And uh, she goes for about 50 or 60 and we paid five. It's one of the the uh, 24 inch ones, so. That is a monster. I guess we just squish it into a big box. <laughs> yeah, it's still gonna be a pretty good sized box though. Uh, and it's pretty heavy. I yeah. know, I know. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a UPS or here. Yep, for sure. All right, let's show that other stuff now. Okay, okay, I'm responsible for this. So if you wanna throw some uh, rotten tomatoes, it's aim them at me. Yeah actually i think it's a good buy though so okay here's everything that is currently on this bench all the way down all the way down we paid forty dollars for all of that everything from here over is x files it's yes <laughs> y'all can see these are all x files books yeah look. all that that's all x files books how how, how can you write that much stuff oh these look it's all x files books yeah all of it we have like script here some kind of starter deck for the game those are cassette tapes audio collection cassette yeah. tapes magazines look at all that they have x file they actually had an x files magazine. official magazine yeah. look at that who knew that i didn't know that and there's also some magazines in here that are not well, i think i sorted them official out. x files magazines but they have they're on the cover. like x files on the cover well here's one right here like like that not only do they have yeah okay weekly yeah. not only do they have look at him i know Kyle <laughs> Kilmer. he was my favorite actor for a long time no look they have uh, the fact and fiction of the unexplained expose and there's x files on here oh. yeah yeah x files so my idea here with buying this stuff i was like well you know the, the stuff that's not worth a bunch we can lot it up and all we got to do is find like super x files fans and i did tell lonnie i read they're coming out with another series it's not going to be what are their names scully scully and Mulder. yeah they it's not going to be them but it's going to be some other agents or whatever but they are kind of rebooting the series so okay this might be good timing we'll see yeah but like i said we paid 40 for all that stuff i don't know how much we're going to get but it had to be a good buy Included, this yeah, this came with it that fallout 76 vault dweller survival guide mm -hmm. for okay uh since man we just keep on having recurring themes on this channel because we just were talking about what's his name attaboy at, no, it's not Attaboy. Vault Boy. Vault Boy. Uh, why do I keep saying Attaboy? Attaboy, because he's like, he looks like an old Attaboy. <laughs> Hiya, pal. <Yep. laughs> you know, that kind of guy. But uh, yeah, that book is worth probably 25 to 30. It's new. It's like the it's like the collector's edition, right? Then we have all kind of stuff here. Just weird magazines. And, like, and some of this stuff is worth money, y'all. Like fan fiction stuff. Yes, we have yeah. fanzines. Uh, yeah, just some just unusual stuff, you know. That probably goes in there. Yep. Just and all, I, all kind of stuff. I found a few of these, like holier than thou. Some this is, There's a market for this stuff. Yeah. This is fan fiction here, I think. And that we do Spider have Spider Woman number one. Look at this. This this is an old comic thing here. Big League Baseball Novelette by Judson Phillips. The, Candace, I think this is from the 30s. Oh wow, look at that. I think it's that old. And, and you know, it this is probably about $15, $20 thing here. Um, mm -hmm. let me see if I can find the date. Okay, I found I found the date and uh it's 1939. 
And it's going to be fun just to look at these the ads. And stuff. Yeah, you can learn to draw. Train for electricity in 12 weeks. Electricity, pay <laughs> tuition after graduation. I'll finance your training. Remember every magazine in the 80s had that yeah. you can learn how to draw? I did one of those one time. Remember how they would have like draw the turtle or whatever? I did that one time. I drew a turtle or whatever because I saw the advertisement on TV. I was a kid. And then my dad's like, that looks good. Send it in. So I sent it in. And wouldn't you know, they sent me a letter back saying, your drawing shows that you have a lot of aptitude for art. And then, of course, they tried you to... you want to buy our kit? Right, yeah. buy our class or whatever. Yeah. I didn't do that, of course. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, one time when I was a kid, somehow I got mail for Publishers type, Clearinghouse type award. And it showed I had won, like, a car and a ring and all this. <laughs> And I was at summer camp at the time, and I brought it there, and I was showing all the other kids. I was like, look at all this stuff I'm going to get. Look what I won. And they were like, they were looking at me like I was completely out of my mind. Look, you could buy tires for $2.15. Oh, hell. And look, look, you can figure instantly on this new slide rule. Look, <laughs> 50 cents for a slide rule. That's awesome. Look, be a railway traffic inspector. Man, this is so... Look, develop your own snapshots. Developing and printing outfit. Just a different world, right? Like, yeah. It's, the ads are awesome now. All right. So, anyways. Uh, paid $40 for all of that stuff. And uh, we did also... We're going to have to find some place to stash all this stuff. I know. We also bought a few more things at the garage sale. At the state sale. No, sales. State sales. Today. Just a few things. We showed you the vacuum cleaners and the books already, and we have a few more things. Yeah. All right. Uh, so earlier, we showed you all the vacuum cleaners and the tote of books that we bought at the state sales. And now we're going to show you the rest. Man, we are sickos. You know that? You are. Why? Why do you say that? Because you always like to buy big totes of stuff <laughs> do you think that when we're there buying it you're, do you ever think like oh my like, god what are you he, doing here he goes again do you really but think it's that? only five dollars <laughs> but it was five dollars <laughs> no i think my book buy was awesome it it's, was for ten it was ten dollars so actually. why are we sick of because we just like we don't have anywhere to put anything we keep buying and we're all set up for the winter all right y'all check up check out this poster that's true Nothing on Worth Point, nothing on Terra Peak, which I'm not surprised. It was probably a very small run. Zaps Potato Chips, local South Louisiana brand. I think they sell them nationwide. They do. Um, and it was from the Bayou Festival, I believe this poster was from. But just look how cool it is. There's a guy making look, like some gumbo. That's his kettle. No, no, he's making potato, potato chips. chips. Okay, I got it. That's the kettle. They're, they're, yeah. they're called kettle chips or I whatever. I don't know why they would put rats on their poster. <laughs> I know. Probably not a good marketing move. Oh, wow, that is ratatouille. Yeah. Man, that is kind of weird, huh? Funny story. Um, Zap's potato chip is right down the road from where my mom was born and raised. Yeah, it's not far. We can get to we can get to grammar seeing what about probably from here about 30, 30 40 minutes. Yeah, okay. she was born at um and as a young child lived in Vacherie, which is right near there. So we drive by there every time we go down there. We paid two fifty for this poster. Yep. Don't know what we're gonna list it for because there's no comp. So I get. To, we may never list it. I get to create a price. We might. Oh yeah, that's a that's an eight hundred dollar poster. Okay, so um, we went to another sale. This this is a new company, I think, and we love their prices. They haven't they haven't learned yet. <laughs> I don't know. They haven't learned of gouges yet. <laughs> yeah, right. They did good prices. Even I told Lonnie even before the half off. Um, I saw these little musicals. So he found this one had a price on it. The other three didn't. You look. You looked up this brand. I looked this guy up. Like look, look this up if y'all are into figure figures at all. This is a uh, Debrecht D E B R K H T. It's Russian designers is who designs these. They're made, I think, here. They're probably made in China. No, I think they were made here. Designed in Russia, handcrafted in China. Oh, okay. So they are made in China. Yep. But I saw some like really good prices for some of some of this stuff, mm -hmm. um, and we did after we got home. We did find uh, some solds for this for around fifty. Yeah. So yeah, just this one had the price of four dollars on there. So we we took them all up there, and we're like, hey, this one has four, the others don't. I said, are, I said, are the others four also? And they're like, yeah, they are. Yep. I'm so, like, oh, cool. So yep. we got. 
two dollars a piece yeah we paid eight for all these and the other three are mr christmas gold label collection and they're going to sell for about twenty dollars each twenty to 20 to 30 somewhere in there yeah so we have around 100 plus um in listings show them that one oh, since, yeah, it, it's, since cool. it's out of the box already or it doesn't have a box yeah. this one works these other ones come with the boxes and we yeah we haven't tested them out but i just did this one because see it's kind of cool huh christmas workshop yeah and you i mean you can also just leave it closed and it can goes. you turn it off I don't think or so. Or do you have to let it run? I think it just has to run. Oh, great. Oh, no, there is an off. Good. Well, it doesn't work. The off switch does not work. Well, that can't be for that. That must be for lights or something. Oh, maybe it needs a battery. Oh, there is a battery. So mm. we need to check that out. Okay. Yeah, there must be some light up stuff on there or something else. So. Then, same sale. They had a printer, uh, like this multifunction all in one HP thing. I saw this with the printer and I was like, eh, I'll try. I brought it up front. I said, hey, this was over there with that printer. Uh, would you consider selling this by itself? I saw prices on, I, I did look this up, this 12A up, and it looked like probably about 30 bucks free ship is what people were selling it for. So probably like a $20 thing plus okay. shipping. We paid two fifty, And we paid $2.50 for it. That, they added the $5 sticker and then of course we paid half of that. All right, we have one more like bag of stuff to show you. Yeah, this is cool. The, 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 all this stuff, well, this stuff right here, we bought at the same sale where we bought the vacuum cleaners. That you saw earlier. For $2.50. So we paid them, we paid these people like less than 20 13 dollars no 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 we paid a total at that sale it was like it was just under 20. that's right it was 19.50 and we would like we had so much stuff the dude brought one of our vacuum he clean carried it out i was gonna make a second trip to get it back in but we paid less than 20 dollar bill and like we we're hauling this all this stuff out it's yep. crazy yeah all right one more uh what i think could be a really a killer buy Okay, the, the sale where we bought the uh, big tub of Western books mm -hmm. for $10, Candace found this under we the table. We were about ready to go pay. We were done, and I spotted this bag under the table. And I'm like, what's in there? You know, so I peek, and I'm like, what? Why is this still sitting here? <laughs> so let me show y'all. We, ha we haven't even taken everything out. We don't know everything that's in here. No, because she gave us a price that was so low, we didn't even need to look yeah. anymore. $5 for this whole bag. Yeah, we only paid 5 So. <laughs> we have all these Dyson parts. Check it out. This is all, all Dyson vacuum cleaner attachments. All of it. Now, where's the vacuum? I don't know. But we have attachments. Look at all of it. Look, just look at it. Would you just, just look at going it? Going and going. So yeah, we're gonna have replacement parts. Uh, little thing going on here for Dyson. And look, this whole bag has a bunch of little parts yeah. in it too. Yeah. So five dollars for all of this stuff. And I'm not done. Wait, there's more. Yeah. All right, that's everything. Some of it's kind of junky and dirty. Yeah. Well, the good thing is it's plastic. You just have to wipe it down. You know, yeah. So, yeah. I, I don't know. I've never sold anything Dyson at all, I don't think. This is Bissell. Uh, so, we may have some Bissell in here, too, but it looks like... Uh, Everything I see has says Dyson on it, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Dyson, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, so at five dollars, we could not have set up. No, I don't see how you don't buy that for yeah. five. All right, that's everything at estate sales, everything from garage sales, everything from Kevin and Danielle, and now we need to pull some orders so that we're not crazy tomorrow. Yeah, we have. We sold. We were having slow sales on Friday. Friday, and I've been asking Candace because I like to send my ten percent offers. I like to hold that kind of in reserve for having a slow day then i'll just fire off a, a salvo of 10 percent offers and usually it'll result in some sales or a lot of times it will well we hadn't sent any offers at all on nutcrackers you caught me at a week week moment, and, and, and we were having a, like a really bad sales day i'm like candace come on let me let me just send them once and so i blasted out offer 10 percent offers on all nutcrackers 
and we, we sold, sold nutcrackers. We sold we sold some nutcrackers. It turned out that ten percent worked. Yeah, it, some people that were kind of probably on, on the, the fence. fence it said, they said, "Okay, I'll buy it." <laughs> well, it, some of that might be FOMO because we have um, we have some nutcrackers you can't buy anywhere else. Right. So, like when they some people probably some of these sa the sales for the nutcrackers happen because they're like, "Oh, they sent offers out on this." Somebody else got the offer too. I better wants, get it before I better buy it before somebody. Yeah. So, so let us figure out where we're gonna put all this stuff, and then we'll pull some orders. Yeah, we're not gonna pull nutcrackers today. Though we're gonna uh, focus on smalls. Yes, get all that out the way and ready for the carrier tomorrow. Right. Well, and and we may not even pull all the smalls, but we're gonna try and at least pull one big bench full of smalls. Yeah, get a big chunk of it out of yeah. there. But first, we got to figure out where we're going to put all this stuff. Yeah. All right, I have no idea where the clock is on this video. I'm afraid yeah. it's really long. But it, it might be a three-hour video. We have no idea. <laughs> I don't. I know it's not three hours. It <laughs> might be getting close to an hour though. Yeah. So, we're gonna just pull some things, fill the bench, and then y'all be I'm, done with it. I'm this. hoping people are enjoying the, this longer format. And let me tell y'all the. There's a couple of reasons why we're doing the longer video. Number one. I don't want to edit every day, even though I'm editing as much footage, if not more now. Right, it's, it's just not every day. Right, it's it's less work than it was before. But the videos I enjoyed, back when I was watching a lot of reseller videos, the ones I enjoyed were, I always liked the longer ones, the longer videos I could just put on in the background, have it keep me company while I'm doing my thing. And so that's kind of what the way that I think about these videos. I want them. I know some people want 15, 20 minute videos. I get that. But, but because we're only doing them every other day, another option is to just watch half one day and finish <laughs> it the next. And yeah. there you go. It's like two videos. That is not, that is not an okay <laughs> alternative, Candace. That is not. Oh, well. Not. You can, no, that is not a fix. Okay. But, but seriously, like. You were being serious, huh? I was. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Some people don't. I mean, you might only have 30 minutes of your day to watch a video. So just watch half one but, day and half the I, I mean, we're too, what, what, what my thinking is, though, with the long videos, I'm like, okay, I know a lot of people like them. And I know there's not a ton of videos of this length out there. And it'll save you some sanity. Yeah, but and give you more time. To and th this is what this is the thing. This is the kind of video I want to watch. So I want to make a video that I want to watch. Okay, that's the idea. Whenever we're old in our nursing home, we can watch our long videos. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell the other people, see, that's how we were back in the day. Yeah, if you got a year, if you got a year straight of time on your hands, you can watch all of our videos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's pull these things. Okay. Let's go. First item is the George Strait cowboy hat on two alpha. Yeah, that's sold fast. You know that beaver skin? This 4X uh, black beaver. Yeah. Got it. Sold that for 90. Yeah, paid five, sold for 90. That's a homer. Home run. All right, we, we Lonnie did an auction on the razor cases. Yeah. There were 32 of them. They were in kind of rough shape. Uh, you're being a little you're not you need to like crank so that up those things are over 100 years old you have to keep that in mind okay but that doesn't mean they're not in rough shape <laughs> anyway <laughs> we were happy with the results of the auction oh, yeah. 73 dollars heck yeah um they're on eight alpha eight alpha all right i was starting to wonder if that auction was going to work out or not because it was pretty low for a pretty good while all right and then it got a bunch of action near the end find somewhere to set this for a second all righty oh i'm making another hole here too okay i gotta go back and put that box where it's supposed to go okay we got 73 for that stuff right are they packed ready to go no they're not okay no they're not let me go put this box back all right in the small drawer a max L cassette tape sealed 8.99 for that yep it's this one right here this high bias tape mm -hmm. okay got it nine charlie uh red chevrolet aero sedan die cast car by motor max nine charlie yeah we got this at a garage sale oh, i can make a make a big old spot right here look at that 
Okay. So we're, we're gonna have to sell our way out of this, Candace. You know how many times I've been in that spot? I look around, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to sell myself out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what fixes everything, right? Is that it? That's it. Thirteen dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Uh, we sold a football helmet on nine alpha, Riddell. Nine alpha. Yeah, look, we're I mean, we're clear, we're clearing out some room, y'all. Making some holes to put some more stuff. This is the one with old the the uh, Oki or whoever the yeah. whoever that guy's name is. That looks like my dad. Uh, it kind of does a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> All right. All right. We saw a Vietnam jacket, four alpha dash M four. It's in that big box up there. Oh. Four alpha. Oh, this box, which I don't think has a box on top of it anymore. All right, man. I said smalls, and now look at us. We got all this. All right, which one is it? M4. Okay, right here. Yeah, that's a Vietnam era tropical jungle shirt jacket. Ninety dollars. Okay, nice. That Kevin and Danielle buy, by the way. Yeah. That's probably something I didn't think was going to be worth as much as it was. Yeah. All right, the next order has two cookbooks on three Charlie. Um, Louisiana Department of Correction. Okay, Cooking with Corrections. Okay. And. I gotta have to move this bubble wrap. Three Charlie? Yeah. The first one is Cooking with Corrections. Okay. Let's be here. Cooking with Corrections. Okay, got it. The next one is Louisiana Cookbook Proud Collection. So it's either under L's or P's. I'm not sure where I did it. L's or P's, huh? Louisiana Cookbook Proud Collection. Of home cooking or something like that. But yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, Louisiana Proud Collection of Home Cooking? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Okay. How much should we get for those? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. $28.78. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I don't know if y'all can hear me back there. <laughs> well, it's not that far, but I mean, it's, it's probably a little lower. Okay. Uh, two Delta, a lot of 10 Xbox games. Yeah, we, I mean, we tried the mic thing. It's just, it adds this level of complexity and pain in the butt that, what am I getting? Oh yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, this I put them all in a different spot, so I didn't mark them or anything. Thirty dollars for that. Yeah, I listed uh three lots like similar to this, and two out of the three have sold already. Three Bravo popular Greek recipes cookbook. Okay. Popular Greek recipes right here, and you know it's Greek for sure because of that font. That is the. <laughs> For some reason, Greeks use that font. Yep. They do. They always have. Is that how the maybe the, it kind of resembles the original Greek uh, lettering system? I don't know, but it's all Greek is always like that. We got fourteen for that. Okay. Six Echo Super Battle Tank SNES game with box and manual. War in the Gulf. Six Echo Super Battle Tank, and this was. This did have the box and manual. Box is a little beat, but it had it. How much we get for that? For uh, fifteen. Okay. Nine Echo. Uh, three. Uh, how many? Four of My Little Ponies on Nine Echo. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, Candace made a pony buy. Got to figure out which ones. I think it's these. I'll let her take a look at them. You bought, you bought a bunch of ponies that day. Why don't you a take a box a... full? Yeah, um, that is sold for twenty-five. Okay, take a gander at those and make sure that's them. Be them. I've put them all on different shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Is that them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Twenty-five for these. Alrighty. All right. This was interesting. We sold both of these back to back kind of the same thing and they weren't to the same seller same um, buyer yeah 
<laughs> We're, it was the same seller. Yeah. <laughs> Pocket 42. They're both SpongeBob Monopoly game pieces. Okay. Pocket 42 is SpongeBob. And Pocket 90 is Gary the Snail. Uh, Pocket 42 is some kind of laser cannon. Okay. So yeah. it must be the other 42. Okay, let's see. Where is the other 42? Here's a 42. This pocket 42 is a crown. No, that's a 47. Okay, I got. We got to get this together, man. 42. Is this it? Okay. That is a SpongeBob with like a net. Yes. And okay. Then Gary is on pocket 90. 90. Ninety, right here. Yep, there he is, Gary the Snail. Those are five ninety nine each, right? Uh, yes. Okay, I gotta remember not to ship those together. Right. There's some kind of association there because they're going. They sold at the exact same time of day. Exact same time. To the much. exact, yeah, exact same time, to the exact same state, but to two different towns and to two different people. Yeah, it's like the but there's something thing. going on that maybe they're in the same game club i don't know you know you have game clubs where people get together and play games and maybe they're like hey no. i got this monopoly game missing no. these pieces you buy one and i'll buy the other yeah okay well all right maybe yeah. and i can't make sense of it it blew my mind yeah <laughs> all right next item is a walmart pen 214. okay Okay, I pulled 214. It looks like uh, Walmart Brazil. Yep, $10 for that. Okay. What's next? In the smalls drawer. Smalls drawer. Let me get back over there. EE -E -E blog. <laughs> EEV -E <-V> blog. <laughs> That's A how multimeter you say it. adapter. Yeah. EEV blog. E -E -E Ev blog. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this little guy, Dave Jones, where he doesn't, where we don't take, we don't. Wait, what does he say? Oh, so he he has like tear down Tuesday, right? Like he'll have some, like this printer. We don't turn it on, we take it apart. He's Australian. Oh, okay. We take it apart. Apart. He's like the who is the crocodile hunter guy? Steve Irwin. Yeah. He's like the Steve oh, Irwin of like, electronics. electronics. And this was his product. He sold these for eighty bucks on his website. And we sold it for sixty. Or seventy. Sixty. It was sixty. Fifty nine ninety nine. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we got sixty for it. I didn't even know how to price it. Yeah. You can't buy it on his website. They're sold out. I just didn't know how much demand. It, it took a couple of days to sell, so I probably priced it good. Yeah. Happy with that. All right. All right, in the Joe drawer, Ben 10 Omniverse game for 360. Game in case. That one sold for 11. $11 PSOT? Yep. All righty. Do you want to pull a glove? I, I do. I would love to pull a glove. <laughs> it's on CC9. Wilson. Why would I not want to pull a glove? I don't know. <laughs> Why is that a difficult one? <laughs> It might be a really big glove. Okay, uh, I mean, yeah, this could be UPS. That's a weird question. Did you think I was gonna say no? I don't know. No gloves, Candace. I told you about pulling gloves. No gloves. All right. It's a Wilson A900. It said CC9, correct? This is the one we just bought this weekend. You said A900. Yeah. Okay, that is A900. We paid ten for this, and we got forty, right? That's correct. Okay. Good deal. Um, we sold a Dorman car part on Two Bravo. Two Bravo, what's the number? 62. Okay. Okay, I found this license plate security screw and nut kit. Five right dollars. Here. Five bucks for that? Yeah. Okay. That'll just go in a bubble mailer. All righty. Tape the Four Seasons Second Vault. 10 Alpha Four Seasons. There's Four Seasons and Second Vault. And second Vault of Golden Hits. They're pretty, the Four Seasons stuff was, was pretty good. 
Yeah, that one's all for $31.49. Okay. Nine Delta. Man, we've had this for a while. Spider for a while. <laughs> Spider Man puzzle in a collector tin. Where is it? On Nine Delta. Okay. I guess because there's a new Spider Man movie out. Uh, I don't know. Just gets scary when you say it. Something's been listed a long time because there's always a chance. That's going to be the stuff that, you know, like if it, it could be missing or we something. We got that, I think, in that big HBA buy. Okay. We got $8 for that. Okay. Cook, two, three, Charlie, we have a cookbook. Ble best and blessed by the Sweet Spirit Finger. Three, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, so it's a fundraiser kind of thing. Uh, is this, it's more than one book? Oh, because you have a best of the best from Louisiana after that with, but it's like a, like two books. And then before that, best oh, best. best and blessed, <laughs> sweet spirit singers of Liberty, Liberty Baptist church. Yep. Okay. We got $10 for that. Good. All right. And then we have two things on Macari. Let me get those pulled up. Okay. All right. We sold two things on Macari, a Razor R51. Okay. Got it. That's all for 22 plus ship. Okay. And then the other thing is some little Barbie shoes. Really? Yeah. They're going to be um, in pocket 61. This is on Macari? Yeah. It's well, a that's... toy. It's toy. Yeah, well, I'm just kind of surprised we sold a Razor on Macari, too. We, we have sold a few there. And I've think. had a lot of people like them. <laughs> yeah, that's, but... a, that's what they do. What, what pocket? Where am I 61. Going? 61. Some like hot pink little Barbie shoes. Hot pink Barbie shoes in 61. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, 59, 60. Aha. 61 over here. Here we go. And I misspoke. That razor was 22, including shipping. Oh, yeah, that's right. And these are 12, including shipping. Okay. Yeah. And that's, I think, every everything going out that's not ups i believe yeah uh we we do we're, we have a bunch of crackers we're going to pull tomorrow yeah and some of them are going to be usps some are going to be ups we just bypass them all right now just to you know make right i want to simplify things for candace to pull yeah uh, we had a so far this weekend um man we had i don't normally talk numbers too much but we had like oh. eight eight hundred dollar day I don't know if we've ever had a weekend this good. Uh, maybe we have. It's been, we had an $800 Friday, then we had a $1,300 Saturday, and I think we're all, it's, I think we're, we're like around three to 350 right now so far yeah. today. Yeah, and it's like 330. And it's fairly early, so it's been like a, a great freaking weekend. Yeah. So, um, which, I can't I haven't been able to say that every day lately because before Wednesday and Thursday we were down in the 200s which is not good enough no that ain't gonna cut it I think a lot and a lot of it a bulk of it was the nutcrackers sending out that 10 percent so yeah we'll we'll show you that but stuff. but then also today like like yesterday I noticed or maybe or was it Friday one of the days I noticed that man we're making great sales we're doing I think it was on Friday I was like, man, we're we're selling like really well. Like, we we're we had nothing but our all the sales we made Friday were like eighty dollars and up. Yeah. Right. But the troubling thing, and, and they were good sales. The troubling thing though was it was no first class. No, no first class stuff sold. No little stuff. No first class package. No, nothing. And I was for, like, for like over twenty four hours. And then yesterday even was like we had a great sales day yesterday. Still very little to almost no first class package which is usually we have a lot of first class package stuff like all the first like this is macari this all this stuff pretty much sold today yeah all the yeah. first class package stuff and and even then there's not that much first class package this stuff was on the, the first thing yesterday that sold it was like late yesterday afternoon yeah first class um before that it was all ups priority uh parcel posts. so i mean i don't like to you know give too much conjecture about what's going on 
But man, it sure seems like eBay was maybe doing something behind the scenes with the first class moving to ground advantage yeah, or something. Yeah. Because like I said, other sales were great. First class was dead. Yep. So, but yeah, we had a great weekend and we will show you all the rest of the stuff uh, that we sold two days from now on Monday. Yeah, yeah we're going to cut this video <laughs> off now because I have a feeling it's really long. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. So thanks a bunch for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed and we will see y'all again in two days. Bye y'all. Bye.